24 and cloudy. Snow has moved out. We saw little flurries. 42 for the high today. Hi there, I'm Dina Carroll. Appreciate you allowing us to be part of your day. Make it worth your while. Furry friends just walked into the studio. Thank you, Bethany, for bringing this cute kitty. Yeah, so today I brought one of our senior cats um, because we actually have a, a fairly significant portion of our population right now on our adoption floor um, for the cats is seniors. Okay. Um, we have about 13 senior animals right now, ranging from five years old to 14, which is Sweet Pea. She's the oldest cat we have available for adoption right now. And because we have so many of them, and unfortunately, um, people are always interested in the kittens and they kind of overlook the older cats. Um, we have a promotion that's gonna be going on um, December 12th through the 18th. <laughs> okay. Um, and so all of the senior cats that are five and up are going to go home for an adoption fee of $25 instead of our normal um, $97.50. Um, wow. And the senior cats would generally, gen generally be reduced anyway. Right. Like $25. That's a real reduction. Is a, a big reduction in the adoption fee because they are so amazing. They um, And there are so many benefits to adopting a senior cat because you know what you're getting. Absolutely. Um, with Sweet Pea, you know that she's going to be you know, fairly calm and relaxed. She has just a touch of sass, just... <laughs> Just a sprinkle of sass mm -hmm. in there, mm -hmm. um, but she loves She's it. an indoor cat, right? Because she said yes. she's declawed. So, yeah, she okay. is declawed. Um, okay. We do not advocate for that, but she came to us that sure. way. Um, and she does have some arthritis as part of being an older cat, but she's very affectionate. Um, she's still quite playful. I was playing with her in her cage the other day. She was all about playing with the strings. Um, she seems indifferent to dogs, so if you have a dog, she doesn't seem to be bothered by that. Oh, um, okay, and, good to know. Uh, I can't tell whether she has a dislike for other cats, or she just doesn't like her downstairs neighbor. Oh. <laughs> um, so, um, still, <laughs> trying, happened. still trying to figure that out, whether it's okay. just that cat she's not a fan of, or she just doesn't enjoy all of them. But she's super sweet, and she's just one of many. And, um, you know, when you're adopting an older cat, they're going to be more relaxed. They're not going to be doing that crazy kitten thing. Yeah. Um, they're not. You don't have to teach them as much. She was in a home for ten years, so she knows how to live in a home environment. Um, there, and there's just a whole host of other amazing qualities that these senior cats have. Are older cats typically good with other older cats, or not so much? So some people have different in opinions on that. I was recently looking at some information from Jackson Galaxy, and he encourages you to adopt an older cat if you have an older cat oh. because. How many, you know, older cats really want to deal with that kitten energy? Sure. You know, they want to, you know, lounge and sit in the sun spot on the floor and the kitten's jumping all over them. So there are, you know, different um, cat people have different interpretations of that. Okay, um, so are you, you at the shelter allowed to adopt out more than <laughs> one senior cat together? Yes. So okay. some, in general, you are allowed to adopt two cats at a time gotcha. from our facility. You okay. won't adopt more cats at a time, sure. but two cats at a time. Um, I can hear we do you. have cats that um, you know know each other. Sure. Um, I don't think any of our senior cats came in with other cats at this point, um, but we can always advise you. You know, if you're looking for two, these two came in together, or yeah. these two um, have similar temperaments and might do well together. Um, sometimes, if you're adopting animals that are not already <laughs> known to each other, we do encourage you to you know adopt one first, let it settle in, mm -hmm. and then see if you know you're you're ready to add a gotcha. second okay. um, just because the transition period when they're in a new environment right and the stress of that can make it a little bit more challenging terrific so if you want to take sweet pea home for this discounted rate which you know is is amazing that starts on the 12th through the 16th yes. you said okay and so the way that that works is if you apply during that window okay you still get nice. that, that price or if you adopt during that window so if you've applied previously oh, and you finalize finalized your adoption during that window you still get the fantastic the okay so how can we take sweet pea where where should we go to fill out an application so you can get all of our applications regardless of what type of animal you want to apply for by going to frederickcountymd.gov slash FCAC, hit the adopt tab and you can see a place to download all the applications. You can also visit uh, Sweet Pea and any of our other adoptable animals by booking your reservation at visitfcac.as.me. And you can also get a peek of Sweet Pea right now because Key 103 is Facebook Live so you can see Sweet Pea. Maybe Sweet Pea is going to make a good addition to your family. Furry friends, thanks to Frederick County Animal Control on Key 103.